like really chill because I am currently painting my dresser. Well, my little nightstand. I'm trying to get the pink thing open, so give me a second. Sometimes you just gotta figure it out. Oh. Today we're gonna be talking about my investing strategy. So currently I am about to graduate in spring 2020 and I'm very excited about that. However, that presents new opportunities in itself. So at first, you know, when I was doing all these interviews, I was saying, oh, I'm gonna buy a property in December, end of the year, blah, blah, blah. But then I was like, you guys know I'm very transparent and you know, um, I like bringing you guys along the journey because I want you to know how I got to being successful, right? Because I'm claiming it now, I'm gonna be successful. But I do want you guys to follow me every step of the way and understand how I did it. So, yeah, I was like, I'm going to buy a property in December and, you know, I, I'm going to use the FHA program, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the first thing I did was I consulted a very trusted lender, um, Roscoe, at the Mortgage Experts. And house hacking is when you... You know buy a property you live in it you also have roommates and that works itself out and you essentially have other people paying rent so that your rent is significantly lower oh this paint is pretty oh yes oh I, that that was my goal really and so what i did was i consulted him and he basically told me that of course i needed to increase my credit score so that i could qualify for down payment assistance and closing cost assistance programs. So it has worked. And the one thing that he really told me, I'm gonna give y'all a little heads up. He told me to get two more secured cards and that can be a whole nother video. However, that has been a really big help. Like my credit score is bomb now. So honestly, I'm good off that part now. And so the reason I'm gonna wait till I graduate because there's something in Maryland called the Maryland Smart Buy Program. Now, I talk about this a lot because it's super imperative that we use it before, before the funds are not available anymore. And so um, I plan on waiting till I graduate because I do have student loans and they cover up to 40,000. So they wipe them out. And as long as you buy a property on the, the Maryland Smart Buy property list, then you can use that. And you also have to meet the requirements, but that's where you would talk to a lender to ensure that you um, that you qualify for it. And so by doing that, it's more strategic for me to get my first property that way instead of rushing to buy it now and still having student loans. Like it wouldn't even make sense for my debt to income ratio. And another transparent moment, I have 13,000 right now, student loans. So when I go back to school, I'll probably rack on another five. And so that'll still keep me under the $40,000 threshold. And so yeah, that's my investment strategy. Now I'm up to, I am about to release another music video next Friday the 13th actually on Friday. And um, I'm having a launch party at two clubs in DC on U Street. So I want y'all to stay tuned because I will be launching my music and people are gonna be learning about real estate and turning up. Y'all know it's all about positivity and you know, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for my passion, my purpose in life, you know, like this is who I am. And I thank everyone for who has supported me. Thank you for supporting me. And the last thing is that $10 discount that I'm giving off to everybody for the real estate baddie, hats, shirts, all that good stuff. So make sure you're getting your family that real estate gear. Great conversation starter. You wanna know something? The real estate market changes often. The types of loan changes, like that loan that I'm talking about could be gone when I wanna use it. So you just have to stay um, prepared. You always have to have a plan B. Like if that, if that, uh, if that program, that loan program isn't available for me when I plan to use it, I can still buy a property because when it comes to student loans, your monthly payment is really what um, lenders are looking at just to make sure that you're not overspending every month 